United States Representatives John Shimkus and Rodney Davis held a summit on human trafficking at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville's Burger Hall on Monday, July 14th. The summit shared information on human and sex trafficking in the state of Illinois and the St. Louis metro area. Denise DeGarmo, associate professor and chair of the Department of Political Science at SIUE, led the discussion. The terms human trafficking and sex slavery usually conjure up images of young girls beaten and abused in faraway places like Eastern Europe, Asia, or Africa. But in actuality, human sex trafficking and sex slavery happen locally in cities and towns, both large and small, throughout the United States, even here in St. Louis in the Metro East. This is a multi-billion dollar a year industry that can happen not only in your backyard, it can happen in your condo building, it can happen in your neighborhood, it can happen right next door to you. Any time that I've heard my colleagues have events like this, and quite a few have, uh, they, um, they, they really want to they walk away shaking their heads, and secondly, they talk about it in the halls of Congress. But a female colleague of mine who had some rural areas hosted a forum and she was shocked. She had no idea what was going on in her small communities in her backyard. And I thought, boy, if, if that's true for her, uh, that's probably true for every member of Congress. And that's why public awareness is important. Aaron Heil, assistant professor of criminal justice studies at SIUE, said that while much has been done, there is much more work left to do. So we are seeing issues, we're seeing great strides are being taken, we are protecting victims, we are doing what we can, but we're also seeing some obstacles and we're creating more and more obstacles as we move along, as the society changes, as legislation changes, as uh, the trafficking in and of itself changes. So what I wanted to bring forward today is, although I have the ears of my congressman here, I think it's wonderful work that they're doing, we also need to consider what's the next step. We have to keep moving forward and we have to also identify these potential problems and these other types of victims, such as those victims of labor trafficking. For SIUE News, I'm Chris Bray.